Hey there. So tomorrow we're going to talk about graphs. Let's take a look at this graph right here. This is called a dot plot. So we basically have polled 25 kids. Each kid is a dot. And we asked them, how many times were you late to school? Any, any uh, first period, second period, doesn't matter. How many times were you late during the first two weeks of school? And here's the picture of that graph. But we need to know how to describe that picture of the graph. So we start with... Um, well, we might look at this right here. So that looks like that is the mode, right? The thing that happened the most. So kind of look at that. But we might say the shape. So the shape is somewhat symmetric. It's close to even on both sides. So it's somewhat symmetric. But there's also a thing called skew. So the skew is where you look at the longer tail of the graph. So most of the data is over here. So it's skewed over on this side. Uh, and one, one way to look at it is uh, skew kind of sounds like ski. So which side would you want to ski down? Um, this side is way too steep. So you want to ski down this side. So that's kind of, it's skewed. This is skewed to the right. Now, the longer side is on, most of the stuff is on the right side. That is shape, basically. Let's talk about the center. So you might want to say, well, what about if we just figured out where the median is? So we kind of count off. There's 25 dots. So basically we count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This guy, that one right there is the middle, okay? So then we can say that's the center of the graph, so it's centered at 3. So that is the center. So what we're really kind of saying is, um, half the kids have three or more tardies, and half the kids have three or less tardies in our sample. So now let's talk about the spread. And the spread is kind of the high and the low. So basically we could say uh, the spread is from zero to eight tardies. Um, you could also say the range. Now the range is different, and that's when you subtract the low from the high. Now in this case it would also be 8, but sometimes it's different. So there's the spread. And then we have outliers. Now you might know about this one, and that one is where you say, well, this one out here, this kid who is late 8 times, is he really a lot different than the rest of the group? Um, is he way outside the normal um, uh, amount of times a kid is late. And in this case, probably not. This this is probably not far enough outside to uh, really be considered an outlier. So, there you go. Shape, center, spread, outliers. Now, I think one of the ways that you can um, remember this, where is it? Shape, uh, we'll do this, outliers, like that. And, let's see, I'm going to draw a picture here at the line. So, when you're talking about the shape of a graph, don't forget your socks. So, that's what you want to remember when you are describing shape, outlier, center, spread. Do not forget your socks. Okay, see you tomorrow. I hope you watch this, and then we'll, uh, we'll get going. Bye.